So, um, I'm still cat sitting for my friend. Uh, and I'm not going to meme you guys this time. I'm not going to do another review of a cat um, or their apartment, uh, for example. I could, but I'm not going to this time. Uh, and the audio should be a little bit better. The microphone was plugged in last time, but for whatever reason, it just didn't, I don't know, work for some reason. Anyway, I was sitting here, and I went down to the comic book store here in, in uh, the city that I'm at. And I went to go check it out, see if they had the new comic books that I need this week. Because, like some of you guys may or may not know, I don't have a um, subscription box at the comic book store that I like make videos for. But... Um, I go there and like more often than not because I have a, a pretty significant discount that I get from there. But I also knew that if I didn't go to a comic book store this week, I was going to lose all my comics. So I got, I went to the comic book store because I knew I had like four or five books that I needed to get, and I knew they were going to be gone by the time I was going to get to the comic book store. And I started, you know, flipping through some of them. I'm a little bit behind right now, so I didn't want to actually do a review of anything because it would come off a little bit um, unintelligent. But I started seeing, like, all the shit that's happening. I mean, first of all, today we got the first issue of, of Metal, so that's interesting. I'm excited to see where this is going, because when I first heard about Metal, I thought it was, like, an Elseworld sort of situation, and I think to some degree it is. I'm not sure, though. Like I said, I'm, I'm behind. But then, um, for those of you guys who were reading Detective Comics, all the way back in, like, one of the early issues, maybe, like, at the end of the first arc or something like that, uh, Robin, Red Robin got sent to like whatever that dimension is that that Mr. Oz has where he has all these prisoners and ever since then he's just been gone and and I think that everyone in the Batman team has presumed him dead and just everyone in general because you know the Teen Titans thought that uh, everyone seemed to think that so everyone seems to have th thought he was dead but now we have uh, this this story arc coming up where uh, it's called a lonely place of living where I assume we're going to be seeing Red Robin come back to life or rather just get released from that that cell and then there's another one that's interesting. Um, uh, what is it? It's, it's like the fate of Mr. Oz. Or no, um, Mr. Oz's identity is being revealed in Action Comics uh, some issue soon uh, in a five-part story arc. And then we also have Dark Knight's Metal. And then Doomsday Clock in like November or October or something like that. Like all of this shit is really finally starting to culminate into something kind of interesting. And it's not just in you know, like a, like a super big fucking like event book, like all of this shit's sort of like, he just like, they're just doing this. You know what I mean? And I'm not saying that it probably won't do something radical, but it also isn't the things that have been set up for like, what is it like over a year now? Like you for over a year or almost, no, I guess probably around a year at this point, Red Robin's been gone for more than a year. We haven't known who Mr. Oz was like, there's all these questions. And then like the doomsday clock, like we need, we're finally going to find out about Dr. Manhattan and, and like, or whether or not it is even Dr. Manhattan or if we've been completely bamboozled this entire time. So like, I'm really fucking excited for DC Comics because there's been like a, a little bit of like a dry spell for me with, with uh, DC recently where like, it's not like they, like the books weren't good or anything. It's just like, it wasn't the first thing on my mind to go do like for like a good, like six months or so when, or I guess probably more than that, like a, a good long while where um, Rebirth started coming out like probably like nine, six to nine months where like every time I got a new book, I was like, I'm hyped, I'm hyped, I'm hyped. I'm trying to get home, I'm trying to read these. And I, I was up to date entirely. And I've started to slack a little bit and like fall off. But it just like some of the stories just like weren't interesting me. So like some of them I dropped, I dropped a few, some of them I'm not going to drop, but I kept buying. And like, I was just waiting for a moment where I could read them because I've been fairly busy over the last couple months. But now I feel like every like every fucking book that I picked up today, I was like, I want to read this. I want to read this. I want to read this. Like I'm excited where everything's to see where everyone's going to find out um, where the strings have been, you know, dangling. Find out where those strings are going to kind of like thread into the rest of the the overarching blanket that is the DC storyline right now. So I don't know. Let me know what you guys think about DC right now. I'm really excited. Um, I'm really fucking pumped to find out where everything's going to be going where all my money has been spent all my time and effort and, and bullshit reading all these books is finally going to take us you know so like i don't know it's pretty exciting so let me know what you guys think down in the comment section about this and hopefully next week no i guess the next video i'll still be here but i guess the video after the next video i should be back home and i'll i'll see if i can get back to doing um videos in like the real like setup and I guess even after that, I'm going to be moving soon. So I don't know. We'll see what happens, man. It's a busy time for me. I'm trying to make sure, though, I stick to my 
two video a week thing doing Wednesday and Saturday I'm trying my best you know what I mean obviously these videos are not the best videos I'll ever make but you know I think it's important to keep this schedule going because I don't want to give up on this channel like I mean not that I don't want to give up on this channel because this channel got given up on two years ago but what I mean is I don't want to um I guess give up on like what I said I was going to do which is make two videos a week even if they're kind of shit so thanks for watching guys let me know what you guys think down in the comments about the comic uh, about DC and like where everything's going if you guys have any theories or whatever I'm I'm interested uh, let me know what you guys think, and I will see you guys in the next video.